Let's start with unscrewing the side panel of the 100R case. I peeled the plastic off here. You can save it till the end. Anyway, next up, get your power supply. Remove the ties. Now place it at the bottom of the case. Line it up with the holes and screw it in. The screws are included with the PSU. Once done, get the other screws that come with the case. Remove the other panel as well and set the case and screws aside for the moment. Let's now jump to the motherboard and the processor. Take the motherboard out of its box and set it on top of the box. Just on top of the box or on top of the anti-static cover, there are arguments for both. Let's not get into it. Next, take the processor and the stock cooler out of the box. Now look at the CPU socket on the motherboard. Release the small lever to the side. Now align the triangle on the CPU with the triangle you see on the lower left of the slot and place the CPU on top of it. Make sure the notches align. Just place it, don't apply any pressure. Now lower the lid and pop the lever back into place to lock the CPU. The plastic on top will come off and that is to be expected. We are done. Next, the CPU stock cooler. The thermal compound is pre-applied here, so you don't have to deal with that. Intel's stock heatsink has push pins to attach to the motherboard, so place the cooler in a way that you have the shortest amount of free cable to the fan header. Just press the pins, you'll hear a click, do it in a cross pattern. So once you hear the click, you're good to go. Plug the white connector into the CPU fan header on the board. A little bit of tidying up the cable and we're good. Next up, take the IO shield that comes with the motherboard and place it to the back of the case and push it into place. Given that this is a micro ATX board that we are working with, get a couple of razors and screw them onto where they are missing. Now place the motherboard in the case. Get the screws in place and tighten them. Next up, get the RAM stick, make sure the notches line up and pop the stick into place. Now unscrew this and then the screws holding the first two PCI brackets. Remove them and let's now add the GPU. And the screws we just removed, screw them back in place to hold the GPU and screw the cover back on. Next up, let's get the power stuff done. Take the 24 pin connector and plug it into this large 24 pin socket on the motherboard. It goes in only one way, so check the locking mechanism to the side to figure out which way it goes. Then similarly, take the cable that says CPU and route it via the back and plug in just one of them here. Feel it click into place. You know what, we can actually route the 24 pin cable via the back as well. Next up, let's get our hard disk out and these bays here on the 100R are too less. So just press and slide them out. Place the hard disk in the bay with the connectors pointing to the back and slide it right back in. If you're going with the optional SSD, then you will have to screw it into place. Again, with the connectors pointing away, screw it and done. Now take the SATA cables that came with the motherboard and plug them into the SATA ports here. Route the cables via this hole to the back of the PC. Then take these, these are the SATA power cables. They're gonna power the hard disk and the SSD. Route them to the back and let them be for a minute. Next, take the cable from the power supply that says PCIe and connect it to the graphic card. Now let's turn the case around. The power and SATA cables that we push to the back now, plug them into the connectors on the hard disk and the optional SSD respectively. Remember these only go one way, so look at the connectors closely before plugging them in.
we are going to connect the case cables now. First the USB 3.0 cable, plug it into the USB 3.0 header on the motherboard which is right below the 24 pin socket. Then let's plug HD audio in. Next up, we've got a bunch of smaller cables for power, reset, hard disk LED and so on. Route them through the back and remember the ones with the triangle are positive. You see the white header at the bottom that says F panel. Now it's quite self-explanatory, just read the markings and plug the cables in as mentioned. We're almost done. So let's now turn the case again and zip tie all the cables, clean them up for some decent cable management. Make sure you pull them all back just about enough. And let's now slide the side panel back on. Thumb screws, oops, almost forgot the fan connector. Now plug it into this header right below the CPU cooler and above the GPU. It is a 4 pin header while the cable only has 3 pins, it still will work fine, don't worry about it. Let's steady up the cables at the bottom a bit, I did have a LED strip lying around so I just added it for fun, it's not required. And this is all I did for the time lapse video. But I did get a couple of extra fans later since I did want to add a couple of intake fans because I, I hate cases with negative pressure because in that case air tends to be drawn in from every vent leading to a lot of dust build up. So just screw them in up top as in take fans. Take the cables, forget the fan pins since this board does not have connectors for extra, extra fans. Just take one of these from the PSU and connect them. Tidying everything up, popping the panels back on, we are done. So now go on, install Windows. If you're not sure on how to in install Windows, if you want me to do a tutorial on that, I could do one. Let me know in the comments below. If you guys want one, I'll do it and leave a card here. Anyway, install Windows, download the drivers from the motherboard side and the NVIDIA web website. Do not use the ones that are found on the desk because they are because they generally tend to be outdated by the time you buy the products. I leave links to all three to download Windows, to download the drivers uh, for the motherboard and for the GPU in the description below. And we are done. Next week, we'll be checking out how this rig fares when it comes to gaming and benchmarks. Guys, this was my first PC build tutorial. I'm sure a lot of things, especially the camera angle,